Now, this video is just to solve a question on set theory. Now, see this question. The question says, in preparing a timetable for a class of 38 students, now, the number of universal sets is 38. Now, so the following facts were taken into consideration. 25 students taking history. So, the number of those that takes history is 25. 27 takes French. So the number of those that take French is 27. 28 takes a Greek. So the number of those that takes a Greek is 28. 20 takes both Israel and French. Number of those that take History intersection French is 20. 23 take both French and a Greek. Both French and a Greek is 23. 21 take both history and a Greek. Both history and a Greek, 21. If 18 takes all the three subjects, so we have history, French, and a Greek, we have it to be 18. These are for all the three. Then, now ask us the first question. We should express this in Venn diagram. Now, if you want to express this in Venn diagram, we have three circles. Now, let us have history here. The total number of universal sets, don't forget, is 38. Now, those that study history is 25. Now, French is 27. Don't forget, a grade is 28. Now, those that study the three is 18. Those that study the three is 18. Now, those that study history and French is 20. History and French is 20. So, this is the circle for history and French. Not East, assuming it is history and French only, then we just put the 20 here. But it is history and French. So, that means it is for this circle where they intersect. So that means this place must be 20. And since this place is 20, so for us to know this place alone, it will not be 20 minus this place, which is 18. So this place is what? 2. So that means if you add the 2 here plus this 18, it will give you the 20, which is for history and French. The same thing for French and Greek. French and Greek, that's 23. Now this is French. These are Greek. So this place must be 23. As we they said, French and a Greek only. Then we just put that 23 here. But they did not put only there. So that shows that it is French and a Greek. And this is a circle for the French and a Greek. So this place must contain 23. So for us to now know this place will now be 23 minus 18. So we have it to be 23 minus 18. And the answer is what? 5. So this place is what? Is 5. So therefore it is. If you have 15 plus, uh, 18 plus 5, it will give us 23, which is for French and a Greek. Now, we are given history and a Greek. History and a Greek, we are given it to be 21. So, history and a Greek as well is this place. So, that's 21. But as me, they did not say history and a Greek only. As me, they said history and a Greek only. Then, we just put it here because this is a site for history and a Greek only. But it's not history and a Greek only. So it is history and a Greek. So this space must be 21. So for us to know this space will now be 21 minus 18. So 21 minus 18 will give you 3. So this space is what? Is 3. Now, for us to now know this space, for us to now know this space, for only, only H, for us to know only H, only H will be that 25, that 25 minus 
the remaining part of the H here. So that means you have it to be, and the remaining part is 2, plus this 18 here, then plus 3. Now, if you press on the calculator, we have 25 minus, what is 2 plus 18 plus 3? The answer is 23. So this way is 23. Then we have the answer to be equal to what? That's 2. 25. So that means only history here is 2. Then at the same time, only French. Only French here, for us to calculate, only French will now be the 27 for the French minus the circle, the remaining part of the words of the French, which we have to be 2, we have 18, then we have 5. 2, 18, 5. The remaining part of the French. Then this becomes 27 minus. Now this is 2 plus 18 plus 5. What's the answer? That's 25. So this is 25. 27 minus 25. That gives you that gives us 2. So this place is also 2. Now let us calculate only our Greek. So only our Greek here will now be the total our Greek here, which is 28. Minus the remaining parts of the aggregate, which is you have 3 plus 18 plus 5. So if you have it very well, you have it to be 28 minus. Let us calculate this. This is 3 plus 18 plus 5. And the answer is 26. So you have this to be 26. The answer is also 2. So this is 2. Now, the summation... The summation of everything inside this circle must be equal to universal set. Let us calculate. If it's equal, you have this to be 2 plus this 2 plus this 2 plus this 5 plus this 2 plus this 3 plus the ending here. The answer is 34. You can see that the summation of everybody inside this place is 34. That shows that we have numbers of people that are not, that did not study any of these subjects. We have numbers of people that did not study any of these subjects. Because the total of this is 34. And we are looking for 30, 38. That shows that we have four people that did not study. Now, the first question, we've answered the first question, but we've not answered everything. Now, how are we going to know? The numbers of people, this is the question they say. The first question here says, how many students study only one subject? This is the second question. This is the second question. Question number two. Only one subject will now be, you now add them together. So only one subject will be, only history plus only French plus only Greek, which will be 2 plus 2 plus 2. And the answer is all 6. Only one subject, the number of students that study only one subject is 6. And at the same time, we have only two subjects. So only two subjects, that's question number 3. Only two subjects will be you have it to be only uh, only history. We first calculate only history and French. Only history and French. This history and French, the value is 2. That's only history and French. Then only history and Greek. History and Greek. The value is what? 3. Only. Only. Only French and Greek. Only French and Greek, where they intersect, you have it to be five. So, only two subjects, only two subjects will now be the summation of the three, which is two plus three plus five. And you have this to be equal to what? Ten. Now, we've answered question number three, we've answered question number what? Question number two. The only thing to make question number one complete is question number four. 
Now let us de derive the numbers of students that did not study anything. Now, though it's obvious that it is 4, but let us put it to the X. Let's say it is X. Those outside, those that did not study anything to be X. Now, how do you now calculate this? It's now B. Now, come together. You now have it to be. That shows that the summation of everything inside this rectangle must be equal to the universal set. So, let us start. We have 2 here. Plus 2 that is here. Plus 2 that is here. Plus 5. Plus 2. Plus 3. Plus 18 at the center here. Then plus x that is here. This is it. Now, as you can see. Now, plus x, everything must be equal to this universal set. Must be equal to universal set. Now, once you have this, let us sum it together. When I summed this together earlier, it gave us 34. So 34 plus x is equal to 38. So that means x is equal to 38 minus 34. So x is equal to 4. So an x, so that means x, answer question number 4, that is the number, the number of students that didn't participate, that didn't participate, participate in any of the subjects or in any of the three, in any of the three subjects is four. So the answer is four. And once the answer is four, then we can now restructure the first question like that. And the first question is, N of universal set is 38. So let us see. So that means each tree is 25. French is 27. And Greek is 28. We have 18 here. We have 2, 2, 2. We have 3. We have 5. We have 2. Now, instead of us to have, you know, where we have x, x here, we've got the value of x to the world to be 4. And this is the first question that we'll ask. Now, this is the end of the class. I just used this question in order to uh, add more knowledge to the Venn diagram analysis. But don't forget that I gave you the shortcut method that can solve this. Why not following all these Venn diagram analysis? If you don't know the shortcut, you can check videos on our page here to know more about that. And more videos will still come on this century aspect. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and follow for more videos. God bless you.